Welcome to the Career Registration Survey Dashboards Helper video. At the top, above the title, you will find three tabs corresponding with the three questions asked in the Career Registration Survey covering career readiness, work experience and sectors of interest. You'll also notice an information icon next to the title. Click on it for more information on the questions asked. For the best view of the dashboard, I'd recommend clicking the full screen icon at bottom right before jumping into the data. On the right hand side of the dashboard, you'll find the filters pane. The filters provide a quick and easy way to segment and analyze the data. For example, if I wanted to look at the results for the School of Computer Science, I would select the College of Science and then the School of Computer Science. If I were interested in a specific major, I could drill down further using the major filter. The dashboards are dynamic and responsive, so hovering your cursor over the readiness chart, for example, highlights the two corresponding statement charts accordingly, while also filtering and updating the respondent count. To reset your filters, simply click the Reset All Filters button. The Work Experience dashboard explores the work experience gained by students. The bar chart at top left captures the types of work experience students have got and hovering your cursor over the chart highlights the corresponding work experience type in the other charts. The table on the right explores the potential correlation between work experience, career readiness and academic stage. It should be read left to right, first by stage, then by readiness group. For example, these are all stage one response grouped by their underlying readiness group. So we can see that 17.64% of stage one no plan respondents worked full time prior to their course compared to 43.5% of stage one clear plan respondents for the same experience. The charts at bottom left are self-explanatory with the orange colouring highlighting the most frequently selected answer, thereby helping to quickly identify differences. For example, Note how the most frequent work experience differs between EU and non-EU fee-paying respondents. The final dashboard explores the sectors of interest or industries that students would like to work in. The line chart trends the top 10 choices over time, while the bar chart highlights the top 10 for the selected year. The heat map on the right explores whether interests and preferences vary by academic stage. There is no incorrect way to navigate the dashboard, but the easiest way is to add filters sequentially, moving top to bottom in the filters pane.